Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. And now, celebrating 15 years of broadcasting, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Whether you're tuning in on the radio dial in my home state of Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM, we welcome you all back to our program. Also, those tuning in through online affiliates around the world, including our Our Heart Radio family, we're glad to have all of you with us as well. I'm excited to welcome back to our program today recording artist Tristan Cole. We're going to talk to him not only about his musical journey, but a lot has been taking place for him since the last time that we spoke, so we'll catch up a bit with that. He also has released new music, a new single called Do or Die, I got it through our friends at Amazon.com. We guys will be letting you guys hear it here in a bit, as well as finding out how you can support the new music for yourself. There's also a great video for it. We'll talk to Tristan about that. But Tristan, hello to you, and welcome back to the program. Hey, man. How's it going? Hey, it's going really well, man. Glad to speak with you again. Now, I mentioned to you before we went on here, of course, you know, I- I'm saying welcome back to you. Of course, you've been on our program several times. First time that was Tristan Cole, though, uh, Tristan. So for our audience that are looking at your picture and they're like, okay, wait a minute. I know that guy, but that does- that's not Tristan Cole. I mean, you know, we, of course, have gotten to know you uh, as Ricky Jarman. Um, that's who you were the last time you were on with us, you know. When, uh, when I first <laughs> met you, though, of course, you were going by Ricky J. I mean, and as I mentioned, a lot What's been going on with you, but what has it been like for you to not want to have had the name change, but also to be able to have this change in your life that you've had? Well, I think uh, we all go through changes in, in our life, and uh, this is just another one of those changes for me. Um, it's been great. I, I really am enjoying the new direction that we're going. It's not a completely different direction than I was going in the past, but it is a slight change. Um, and, you know, Tristan Cole, I just want people to feel inspired and uh, uplifted with uh, the message that I bring forth whenever um, I have new music as Tristan Cole. You know, I I want this to be something that's going to help the world be better, whether it's just making them feel happy or, or, uh, you know, just somehow inspiring them. That that's really the goal with this new name change. And, um, you know, it it was something that needed to happen as well. I kind of had a print situation happen like he did uh, in the past. I just had a, a, a process I went through with past management that I wasn't happy with. Uh, we had creative differences. Unfortunately, I was locked into um, a pretty hefty uh, contract. And so this was the easiest way for me to transition out of that uh, without any going into any type of legal battles or anything. And, uh, right. You know, so I think it it was a blessing to be able to rebrand, but it was also something that had to be done in order to me to continue uh, proceeding with my music in the way that I feel it should go. Right. And we're going to talk more about the music. Tristan, I want to talk about, though, the change. Like you said, we all go through it at some point, either personally or professionally. You know, we all have heard that saying about, you know, change is, you know, is never easy, but it's necessary. How easy was the change? Because you had built up quite a following for yourself, and Ricky Mm -hmm. Jarman had become so much a part of how people knew you. That's how they kind of identified you. I mean, how difficult was that part of being able to not only, of course, as you mentioned, you're still you, of course, but, I mean, how Mm -hmm. difficult was it for you to say, you know what, I'm going in this new direction. Will you take this journey along with me? Um, I wouldn't say that it was terribly difficult. Um, There has Mm -hmm. been a ton of times where people reach out and be like, hey, what, what's with the name change? Or, oh, man, you know, I was wondering who in the world was Tristan Cole, like, on my <laughs> timeline. And so, <laughs> I, you know, I definitely had to do some explaining and just to enlighten people on this change and stuff. But, uh, you know, people have been very accepting of it. Um, I've had tons of compliments on the the name change and, uh, you know, they say that it definitely uh, fits me and my personality, and I'm really happy that the the fans have taken a positive light to it. You know, they've been accepting. Yeah. There hasn't been a lot of pushback or anything, and, uh, you know, I'm just really excited to see where um, this new direction is going to take me. Yeah. Did it feel like starting over for you? 
No, I, I definitely did not allow it to do that. I just wanted to uh, make it chapter one to chapter two. You know, it's still the same book. It's still the same journey. Um, you know, it's, it's just an evolution of personality. It's an evolution of branding. It's an evolution of sound. Um, you know, so I'm still the same person, like you said. Uh, but no, I've never felt like it was starting over at all. And in fact, you know, my, my fan base is ever growing. And, uh, you know, it's been really cool. I actually, it's kind of exciting to be able to create, um, you know, a new persona and a new style and, and things. I feel like uh, change is exhilarating to me. A lot of people have trouble with change, but um, I, I love it. I, I actually try to embrace it. Gotcha. Well, one thing that definitely has stayed the same with you, Tristan, has been the music. I mean, you are a person who's been known for giving music that actually has a message, music that has some substance to it, even, you know, music that is feel good. I mean, do you feel as though that is kind of the common thread of what we've been able to get since you've kind of burst on the music scene, that we have gotten music that is true to you, but also uh, that has resonated with others? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, I totally feel that. And, uh, you know, I kind of relate this to just people, how they go through life and, and they try to find themselves. I mean, if you look and, and compare your life or anybody's life to how we were as adolescents and then how we were as, you know, teenagers in high school into like how, where we're at now in life. I mean, it, it, there's a little bit of a change w- within each of our personas as individuals. And I kind of feel like that's, a similar take on how my musical direction has gone. You know, I've, I've had to navigate and find myself and find my sound and, you know, where I really passionately fell within the music realm. And I, I think I've gained hold of that and, and I'm just really content in where I'm at currently. Yeah. Do you think because you have paid your dues, Tristan, you have been on the scene for a while, that that has allowed you to be able to do things that other artists maybe won't do? I mean, and what I mean by that is you don't just give us the love songs. You don't just give us the breakup songs. You don't just, you know, give us these songs that we kind of, you know, when we hear the name, we kind of know what to expect. With the new song, Do or Die, um, you don't mind taking us into life, you know, looking at life, looking at, you know, where we are and, and where we can go go i mean do you think that is one thing that sets you apart um i i sure hope so um i i definitely take pride in in being able to be versatile and uh i I feel like it's uh very appropriate uh to be able to try and hone in and address all facets of life you know we go through tons of different emotions there should be no reason why i'm only talking about love or why i would only be talking about sadness or any gamut of the variety of things that that we experience as individuals. But I think each individual song that I've released definitely um, represents a different part of my life, a different feeling I was feeling at the moment. And uh, I just really hope that people can level with me and and be able to relate to the words that that I sing in, in my songs. Gotcha. Well, I think that's definitely true, uh, Tristan, especially with the new music. I want to say for those who are just tuning in, he's on the radio side or online. You're listening to Conversations Live. We're excited to welcome Tristan Cole back to our program today. We're talking to Tristan not only about his love of music, but also what it's been like for him to share that love with all of you. You know, another thing that's kind of changed, even in the past, I would say, five years. You and I met in person for the first time, uh, Tristan, now a little over three years ago. And uh, you have not even been afraid to change your physical appearance. I mean, we've seen you go from different hair colors to you know different styles that way is that also part of what keeps life fun for you kind of switching things up a little bit and and trying something new of course i i totally think that that's where i'm at um and like i said you know change is fun to me it's it's almost like a way of being able to take a a blank canvas and just be able to go wherever the creativity takes you and and i i really enjoy being able to mix things up, like you said. Um, I I think Michael Jackson's a really good example of mixing things up a lot as well. I mean, his sound was pretty constant, but, you know, his look, his style, it definitely changed a lot throughout the years. And I think that's also what keeps people entertained. That's what keeps people engaged in in what you're doing is when there's there's changes. People want to see that evolution. 
Right. Now, one of the ways we've been able to kind of stay connected with you and the evolution, Tristan, has been through social media. I mean, how has Tristan Cole been using social media, especially Instagram? I know he's going to be really active there. How have you been using that to not only to stay connected with your fans, but also to be able to interact with them and to let them know about new music like Do or Die? Well, you know, I've got my, my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram that I use pretty heavily. Um YouTube, uh, I've got that as well, and SoundCloud. And, you know, I'm constantly trying to keep my fans updated in, in what I'm doing, even if it's on a day-to-day aspect, and just to keep them engaged. I mean, an artist is only as good as their fans allow them to be, you know. So I want to be able to try and keep my fans um, involved in what I'm doing as much as I can, you know, trying to help – uh, allow them to help me pick out like uh, cover art for for new singles and you know uh, different hairstyles that that I'm contemplating on doing or uh, you know like uh, just different things to be able to allow them to have a voice in in what I'm doing because I I definitely at the end of the day want to make my fans proud and want them to know that I I care and love love them right. You you posted on Instagram on April the nineteenth, uh, Tristan. Not that you know I stalk you or anything. I just when prepping for these things, <laughs> I I remember things that come up. We're like April. What are you doing in April? We're in May. But anyways, this <laughs> on April the nineteenth, uh, you made this post. When everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. So you went. Mm-hmm. You kind of posted that as you were gearing up for the release of Do or Die and some posts coming up after that. What is it that keeps you optimistic? What is it that keeps you being able to take off, even when so many things are around that bring people down? Well, I know where I want to be in life, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm definitely a lover, but I'm also a fighter, and uh, I'm going to keep fighting and pushing until I get where I want to be. And I think that that is something that anybody and everybody can achieve in their life. It's all about, you know, where your mindset's at, and I, I. I'm someone who definitely doesn't want to practice, like preach anything I'm not practicing. And so I feel it's my duty and my responsibility to live up to all the things that I talk about or sing about or encourage others to do. And that is to never give up on your dreams and never keep pushing. And, you know, we always want to try and be our best selves. And that, that's really my, my greatest goal in life is just to be the best that I can be. And, uh, right. you know, hopefully my brand reflects that. Yeah, for sure. So that leads us right into a Do or Die. You mentioned on Instagram and on other social media outlets, Tristan, about um, how this song kind of came about, kind of looking at the world around us. I mean, what was it like for you to kind of see this song come together? Uh, well, it was way fun being able to collaborate with Sean Thatcher. He was the producer behind it. Uh, just being able to cultivate this, it, it was something that was weighing on my mind for a while And I was just trying to figure out the best way to be able to address it, um, you know, and still be able to make it organic and raw and, uh, you know, something that people can relate to. You know, Childish Gambino did a great job with uh, This Is America. Uh, You know, that's another song that I feel is very organic and addresses some of these things that I was also addressing in my song. I think there's a lot of people who are fed up with the crap that's happening in the world. And the sad thing is, is a lot of our mainstream media isn't really focusing on those matters. They're more so talking about very petty subjects. Um, And I just feel like if we really want to come together as a people and we really want to make this world better, we've got to be able to embrace things for what they are, not sugarcoat them, not put them aside or pretend they're not there. Um, And it's all about tolerance, patience, love. We, We all really need more of that because we have so many people that come from so many different backgrounds and have different beliefs. And it's not a matter of trying to uh, make someone believe something that you believe. It's just a matter of being accepting, you know, and, and being able to help each other with these problems. Um, you know, cause it really makes me sad to be able to see people struggling or sad or, you know, what, whatever it is. I mean, there, there's an array of, problems happening right now and so I just I, I really wanted to be able to have a song that was semi-political and definitely inspirational but not something that's going to be overbearing or something that's going to make people think you're you're choking them with preaching you know but right. 
you know, I'm, I'm really happy with the visuals as well with how it came about. Um, McKay Watson was the one who filmed the video and he did a f fantastic job. And I thought that there was no other way more appropriate than to be able to show real life situations that are happening in the music video. You know, I, right. We, sure, we could have had actors come on board and we could have reenacted some of these situations, but I just don't think that would have done it justice than to show people really and truly what's happening in the world. And I think that's what makes it so powerful, Tristan, for sure. Well, for those who have not had a chance to hear it, here is Do or Die by recording artist Tristan Cole. We'll be back with our final moments with Tristan right after this. Mistakes, I know it. I know I'm not a perfect person, and sometimes life is just too much to bear. It gets on the show with motion, every curve our life is throwing. How can I take all this pain away? Darkness inside Be down and left alone With no choice but to run and hide Will it ever be enough? Will I have the strength to survive? Can we overcome what's done? Now's the time to do Keep on hurting This loaded K is killing me Inside They say life's all about choices Coming down at just one moment Be the difference to end the pain In the blink of an eye And when the night comes There's only darkness inside down and left alone with no choice but to run and hide Will it ever be enough? Will I have the strength to survive? Can we overcome what's done?
That again was Do or Die by our guest today, recording artist Tristan Cole. I got that single through our friends at Amazon.com. You all can get it through your favorite online retailer. We're about to let you guys know also how you can stay connected with, with Tristan. Tristan, one of the things, of course, that we talked about last time you were on with us was, of course, the live performance. I mean, that is one of the things I think where you kind of feel the most alive when you're up on stage. Is it still one of the happy places for you that brings you joy? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I love it. I, I feed off the crowd, you know, so... Um, I would definitely say that that is just where I feel the most at home. Gotcha. Well, we definitely want to be looking out for opportunities to be able to see you. So, Tristan, let our audience know. How can they stay connected with you, man? Of course. Uh, Instagram and Facebook is going to be Tristan Cole Music. And then um, Twitter is I am Tristan Cole. Uh, that's the best way to, to reach out to me. And I love being able to meet new people. I love engaging with my fans. If there's ever a time you want to get to know me better or you have something on your mind, I'm I'm always happy to, to talk when I can. All right, all right. So, again, everyone, Tristan Cole has been our guest. Great conversation with you, Tristan, as always. Excited about the new single and the video. So make sure you guys do head over to YouTube and watch the video again if you have not already. Do or Die is the, is the title of the song. And, again, it's available through your favorite online retailer. And, Tristan, thank you for the time, man, and looking forward to our next conversation together. Of course, man. Thank you so much for having me. It's always fun. Hey, man, appreciate that. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. And until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Make sure you take out time to enjoy some good music as well as a great book. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live today. You all make it a great one. <laughs>